If you need the water, shake the beaches in the Carolina. If you need the mountains, try the Appalachian Trail. If you need the redwood trees, gotta go to the Yosemite. If you need me. Kansas City. It's Germanique with Kansas City Limits TV and I'm here tonight at Knuckleheads and we're going to check out Atlantic Express performing live. I'm so excited. I'm going to interview them, the owner, and maybe a few bartenders if we feeling a little spicy. And now we have the main event. We're here with Atlantic Express and we're going to go ahead and introduce you to Gary. Gary, give us a little bit of information about Atlantic Express. Uh, uh, Gary, Gary Mack is my name and uh, we started uh, the band 30 years ago. And uh, the purpose was to have people who had always been professional, but they have families and uh, other things going on in their lives. So um, we could always have somebody on stage that would be a full-time professional. Wow, 30 years. I don't have bras that old. How do you get everyone to stay committed for 30 years? Well, they're not all the same. We only have a couple that have been Okay, that sounds more that sound more realistic because when you say 30 years and everybody's been committed, I have questions, okay, because I can't get my toddlers to commit to anything, and you got a bunch of adults <laughs> to commit. A bunch of great people. I'm the oldest. Really? Yeah, they're all younger than me. Wow. <laughs> I would have never known. <laughs> Germanique again, and I'm here with the owner of Knuckleheads, Frank. Frank is going to give us a little insight about how he get these bands here. Now, please tell me, how did you come up with the idea of Knuckleheads? Well, Knuckleheads, the name of it was, I was in the motorcycles. I rode motorcycles all the time. This began, this started out as a motorcycle shop. Mm. We repaired motorcycles and sold them. And Harley's had a motor called Knuckleheads. A knucklehead, not Knuckleheads, but yeah. Knucklehead. And so my father and I, who passed away a long time ago, used to watch the Three Stooges, and they always called everybody Knuckleheads. So I mm -hmm. said, well, between the Three Stooges, my dad, and my motorcycle, I said, should be called Knuckleheads. <laughs> you said between your dad, yeah, the Three dad Stooges, and, <laughs> and then that's the motorcycles came Knuckleheads. So what the made motor, you? The motor was a mm -hmm. Knucklehead. And actually, it, they quit making it the year I was born. They stopped making that motor when you were born? Mm -hmm. Can I ask what year that was? No, I can tell you. 1947. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay, so when you opened Knuckleheads, you said it started off as a repair shop? It started as a, a, as a parts place and a repair shop and a sales. Okay, so when did you start the transition or the idea of we need live music? When nobody knew how to get here. As soon as I started the place, nobody knew how to get here. It was off of, you know, it's not like. You see me when you're driving the highway, right? You got to find this place. No, that's so true. So now we got to figure out how to freshen it up so we don't get stuck at that train. You got any ideas? Yeah, just go around it. Well, people, you heard it here first. There's if you're trying to, to get to Knuckleheads and you reach the train, you better go around it. Yeah. 